There you are. I'm so glad to see you today. I hope that you're enjoying being in the Proverbs every morning, afternoon, or evening. And I encourage you to share these Proverbs with a friend, especially the ones that really hit home. It's such a delight to know that God has been present since the beginning and that people have been people since the beginning of time. And to look at these Psalms that were written for that time and know that they are still perfectly relevant for this time is really a joy. Today is Monday, August 9th, and I'm going to read Proverbs 23, verses one, verses 19 through 21, and uh, listen to the voice. Hear my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not mix with wine bibbers, or with gluttonous eaters of the meat, for the drunkard and the glutton will come to poverty, and drowsiness will clothe a person with rags. There's a lot going on in there, isn't there? Well, one of the reasons I chose this is it had a word that I've never heard in it before, and I thought, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Our focus verse today is do not mix with wine bibbers. Do not mix with people who drink alcohol or gluttonous eaters of meat, or the drunker and the glutton will come to poverty and drowsiness will clothe a person with rags. Hmm. So I want you to imagine hanging around with people who drink way too much alcohol or and or are constantly overeating. Imagine hanging around with people who drink way too much alcohol and are constantly open. What does that do to the way you see yourself and you see the company that you keep? As an activity, I know this is kind of human nature to keep up with someone, to feel like you're not lagging behind or that you're involved, actively involved. But make sure, make sure that you are not trying to keep up with them. Now, I remember a real lesson I had when I was young and had just started to drink. And I was mixing with people who had been drinking for a long time, the wine bibbers. And I tried to keep up with them. Oh, I'll tell you what, I was so sick. And maybe you've had that experience before too. And you could just thinking about it makes, ugh, you know, makes you want to gag. But make sure that you set the example wherever you are, if you're dining at home and have friends over, if you go to a party, if you're out eating in public, make sure that you are the good influence in the crowd and you know how to say enough is enough. As an action, if you feel like you have fallen into the wine bibber category, or beer bibber, or whiskey bibber. Maybe you've fallen into that a few too many times. Make this the time where you make changes in your life, where you bring your mind and your body and your soul back into health. Now, you may need to have help doing that. 
if you have a spouse, talk to your spouse about what you want to do, that you don't want to set that bad example and drink too much. Or a friend, a good friend. Say, you know, I'm just not really, just not really drinking right now. Um, I'm, I just want to see how I feel without it. If you need a little more help than that, every town I've ever been in has many AA groups that don't be afraid to be a part of it. Just a bunch of people from homeless people to CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Alcoholism does not discriminate. I hope that uh, this message has hit you in the heart, and I hope to see you tomorrow, where we'll be on Proverbs 23 once again. God's blessings until we meet again.